Okay, in this one, we're going to find the area of the shaded region in concentric circles. So, uh, basically, you've got two circles here, uh, one inside the other. Those are concentric circles. And so, let me pull up that whole image. And let's say the outside circle is, say, 60 centimeters or something like that. And let's say the inside circle has a radius of 30 centimeters. Okay, so the area of any circle can be found by taking pi r squared. And so the area of the big circle would be, um, so maybe we'll just, and I'll put a little b down there, I'll subscript a b for area of big circle, is pi times 60 squared. And so that would be 3600 pi, because 60 times 60 is 3600. And then the area of the small circle, so I'll area with a little s for small circle, because this radius is only 30, is uh, pi times 30 squared. Whoops, I missed the 30. So pi times 30 squared. All right, and so that one would simplify to 900 pi. So to find the area of the shaded region between those, you just have to subtract them. So in our case, it would be the area of the big circle minus the area of the small circle. And so we'd have 3,600 pi minus 900 pi. That kind of ran off the screen a little bit. There we go. And, and then just go ahead and simplify that out. So 3,600 minus 900 would be 2,700 pi. Because you treat pi like a variable. And... You could go ahead then and approximate it if you wanted to. So 2,700, depending on times 3.14, you know, it just depends. You could use 22 sevenths for pi, whatever you approximate, need to approximate pi as. And that is the area in square centimeters. So 2,700 pi, I'm not going to do that. I think pretty much everybody can multiply two numbers together. So 2,700 pi centimeters squared in this case would be that. Now, you know, as an extension to this problem, you might ask, what if, uh, would you get the same thing if the circles were off center, you know? So, so you had a circle and maybe a, another circle like this, and we wanted the shaded region, and you knew maybe... Um, Whoops, the center of this one was still 30, but the center of this one's over here and it's 60. You know, would that change the area any? Well, no, the answer is no. Um, it'd still be the same. And, and there's lots of other, other areas we could look into. So yeah, the area of that would be the same, 2700 pi. As long as you knew the radiuses of your two circles, it doesn't matter if one's inside the other, your radius is still the same. You're still subtracting out that 900 pi, no matter where that circle is located. You're cutting that out of it. So I hope this helps, and uh, I'll see you next time.